Welcome back. It's Chili Davis. And I want to welcome back all my subscribers and welcome to all my new viewers. And today we're going to go over my, my top stocks in my portfolio. And we're in the Robinhood site. And I'm just going to cover a couple of things. We got the Wall Street Journal says Amazon to hire 100,000 U.S. veterans or military spouses by 2024. So that's great information. Also, some big time daily movers for the day. Uh, State Auto is up 190 um, percent. This one is new to me. Uh, SGO, CO, the SGO Group is up 82 percent. We talked about this one briefly yesterday. Uh, Celdex as well. I'm, I do not know about them. They're up. And uh, CPOP uh, is down 21%. We talked about that last week. Uh, just to show you, this is state auto finance. I'm assuming they went public July 7th or yeah, around July 6th. And it looks like they had a huge pop this morning from $17 up to $50 per share. So uh, State Auto Financial Group, I'm not sure what they do, but uh, this is, there's a couple articles, uh, Motley Fool, why shares of State Auto nearly tripled today. So you can take a look there and try to find out what happened there. Uh, the SGOC Group, that's the Shanghai group. Uh, so Shanghai, China. Um, again, their stock is, is seems to be tapering off now uh, at a peak of $26. And it's back down to $17. Uh, high risk play, but it was a high reward. So and then the last one, CPOP, which was last week's hot stock and now it's it's going back to either zero or maybe ten dollars uh, but, but that's you know going back to ten dollars like going back to zero basically okay so those were the hot stocks of the morning are in the general market and you can find us in daily movers in robin hood uh so ticker uh amzn or amazon is up uh 18 percent this morning uh, 0.18% this morning, excuse me. Uh, Ticker symbol G O G L or Google is at 1.65% this morning. Uh, Ticker symbol C M G or Chipotle is at 1.46%. Uh, Ticker symbol N U E or Nucor, uh, this is the steel company, is up 0.61, so almost a half percent. And Ticker symbol UPST or Upstart is still up 8.75%. Uh, Let me take a quick look at that. So, sure, that's yesterday's. That seems strange. Okay. Um, yeah, that's yesterday's. Let me look. Let me do that again. That didn't look right. <coughs> It's not refreshing, it's kind of odd. Okay, looks like Upstart is down point once, let me see here. Look, Upstart is up in pre-market 0.46. Let me see something. I just started messing around with this uh, filtering and 0.61. Oh, uh, strange, it's not giving me the right. 
Okay, so that's why we don't always use Robinhood. Anyway, uh, those are the top stocks in my uh, Robinhood today. Uh, let's take a look at my other account. Um, this morning, early market, we have NOK or Nokia is up 8.19%. Now, the reason why I own this is because I guess it was early 2020. I thought 5G by now would be a bigger play, but it's not. But anyway, um, you could take a look at Nokia. Uh, I wouldn't recommend buying into the shares. I'd wait till they get to about $10 um, and see if they can do anything from there. But right now they're uh, up, ticker symbol NOK. Nokia is up 8.19%. Uh, next ticker symbol we have ERIC or Ericsson is up 3.23%. Ticker symbol TME, uh, Tencent Music Entertainment is up 3%. Now this stock has taken a beating over the last week. Um, they've gone from, I think like 20 something dollars a share uh, in the last month or so, and they've gone down. So uh, Tencent Music is very popular in China, um, but you know, a lot of stuff in China is just not doing well. So they are down um, from $16 down to $12. All right, so that's 10 cent music. Slowly draining my portfolio. Uh, ticker symbol HOFV, a uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, this was a hot stock. I'm probably needing to sell it soon. This is a uh, Hall of Fame. This was when NFTs were hot. So this probably needs to be sold. Uh, Ticket symbol A, B, and B. Airbnb is back up 1.6% today. Uh, what else? Oh, I have some good ones. Okta, O-K-T-A, the software cloud giant is up 1.3%. Oh, oh, surprise, surprise. Diddy, Diddy is trading up 1.16%. Uh, let's take a quick look at um, Diddy and see if they have any good news for what's going on. Um, Diddy's disastrous IPO. China looks to extend its overseas listing. Diddy stocks takes a dive. This is one hour, uh, one hour ago. I don't see any new information on Diddy. Um, that's old news, falls 40%. Okay, that, that's like last week information. Um, Beijing's Diddy's blast shakes 2 trillion of China stocks. Uh, yeah, notice CNN is so way out of it. After disastrous IPO, China looks to extend control. I mean, CNN, this is old news. I wish they had something new to report. Um, Motley Fool, is there any hope left for Diddy's global IPO? So just never know. I mean, the Chinese could come out tomorrow and say, hey, we're going to stop investigating. So uh, Tesla is up in pre-market 0.83%. The uh, meme stock favorite is Clove. It's up 0.8% or 0.72%. Uh, Ticket symbol PLTR or Palantir is up 0.57%. Uh, so those are the top stocks this morning. Um, Again, I want to share with you how I like to invest. This is my philosophy. Um, in terms of IPO stocks or new stocks at the top of my pyramid. Uh, a little less risk, Marin, AMC, Clove. And then I start investing in the real stocks, uh, banks, Bank of America, JP Morgan, uh, travel stocks, Delta, uh, Spirit Airlines, 
American Airlines, you can go with that. Conical Phillips, then comes like Virgin Galactic, Apple, Ford, Okta, Twilio, Tesla, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft. And there's no order. Um, these just show that I invest more shares and then these more heavily weighted than some of these at top. Now, and the reason why I keep banks in the middle of there, banks don't move that much. So if you get a um, you know 1% move, that's pretty solid for a bank. Or if you get a half percent move. So I don't expect too much of a movement. Um, I get a lot of movement from these gross Okta, Twilio, and Tesla. Um, these ones here can go, you know, we've seen NEG go 100%, 50%, AMC go, you know, 20, 30% in the past, Clove go 20% in the past. So it's all high risk here at the top. So least shares to most shares, high risk at the top, low risk at the bottom. Tesla, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft are not going anywhere. No time soon. So just like to keep that uh, in the back of everybody's mind. And then if you look at, let's see, total all time highs earned. Tesla being my number one. Um, and there and then there are some surprises like AMC, um, but it's not going to last long. I mean, AMC could either turn good today or it could turn worse. So the company is uh, putting more shares out there. So AMC is falling. Um, yeah, yesterday, I think it was like $47 today. It's 40 we all know some other good news could come out and AMC could shoot back up to 45.50. So for all the hodlers. Um, but as you can see, all, all these performance, top performer, Twilio. Um, what else we got here? SBCE, Virgin Galactic. Okta. And Microsoft. So, um, I don't know where Apple is. Apple's still down here for me. Um, 5%. Apple's just starting to make a move for me. Okay, I'm up overall with Apple 15%. So anyway, these are my top stocks. These are the top overall Tesla. You know, AMC got lucky some kind of way, Revolve Group, that's still a good stock. Twilio, Capital One is making a move, uh, Cheesecake. So uh, these top stocks. All right, I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, share. I do have the Weeble link, the Robinhood link, and also M1 Finance link below. So if you want to join those uh, particular brokers, uh, M1 Finance lets you borrow up to, you know, five thousand dollars if you have a portfolio starting at the range of ten thousand um, dollars. Webull and Robinhood do give you uh, one free share of stock. That's how I got this one free share of CBay. So uh, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see you on the next video.